My artistic passion is working towards a career as an illustrator and a comic artist, and a big part of that is developing a skill for basically translating complicated ideas or concepts into visual media. That's when I first started getting into research and work for the art program. My art is usually fantastical, based in folklore, but I'm also heavily inspired by classical religious compositions. And aesthetically, I'm just really attracted to the human figure, I'm attracted to movement, I'm attracted to large, complicated compositions. So those are the things that are kind of pushing me forward and keeping me interested in making work. My research kind of delves into the idea of how humans perceive the built environment or situated within it. I wanted to find a way to kind of deconstruct that idea through photography. And what I landed on is thinking about the built environment is just kind of like copy pasting of the same forms over and over. And the visual artwork that I make continues to construct it. It kind of continues that process but usually and hopefully in a very bizarre fashion it makes people kind of uncomfortable and question the existing buildings around them, I suppose. Something really unique that was offered this fall, this quarter, was in a broad program to France. So I participated in this and it was basically an art residency where we worked in the studio and then we also visited Paleolithic cave sites with ancient paintings in them. So that was a great opportunity to kind of be stimulated as an artist, be consuming art and consuming history, visiting museums like the Louvre and all of that sort of stuff. That was a really great supplement to making a body of work. Currently, I'm researching the role of shamanism and ritual practices in religion um, and how those practices are consistent across cultures, especially visual culture. Um, the reason that we visited Paleolithic cave sites was to kind of inform research um, and building a body of work in response to those paintings. And since my work originally was focusing on Western Christian art and European art, I wanted to kind of synthesize the research on cave paintings and on Christian art and kind of bring those two together. Um, so my work right now currently focuses on the more mystical aspects of Western religion and how that appears in artistic tradition and kind of trying to bring those two aesthetics together in a stylized and illustrative way um, because that's just how I work. The work that we do can kind of be summarized as a critically researched senior thesis concentrating on an idea that we have that we would like to work out through our artwork and we're using our studio practice to explore ideas that we have that we think can be expressed through visual communication. A studio practice is a regular, habitual dedication to making work. Whether that looks like going to your studio and reading a text that informs the work, or going experimenting with materials, not knowing what is going to come out of it, but then all of a sudden something does. I offer guidance in, you know, asking the students to go look at other artists that I feel their work is in conversation with whether or not they know it. Other disciplines like sciences, critical theory, philosophy, thought, things that I know will help the student have a richer um, way to describe and communicate about their work and through their work. Creative um, exploration doesn't necessarily arrive at an, an, at an answer. I think um, it is, sometimes it does, but sometimes it's just being part of the conversation and being part of the dialogue and offering a different perspective.